This is a V12 by Bronk. They sent me the Bronk saves beforehand, and I really like that machine. I did a review on it, so they decided to send me another one to review. I got the black one, so let's open it up. I do know that is adjustable in stroke. I do know that it comes with an RCA attachment and battery. Let's pry this open. Nice, comfortable foam to keep your goods all safe. Bronk, adjustable wireless pen, RTM, instruction manual. So these are good to go through. You can really see any little, you know, you can learn a language. You can see, yeah, I definitely can read all this. <laughs> Let's get to something. Okay, we'll get there. English version, excellent. Seems to just be the index. 2.5 side effects. In a few cases, the tattooing process may result in minor side effects. Inform the customer about all risks about the side effects described below. Frequent. Pain on the day after tattooing. Inflammation. Reaction. Interesting. And they also have a rare section. Hyperpigmentation with body's own pigments. See, this is why it's important to read. Because now I'm learning so much about what this company cares about. DC Corus Motor. Continuous 27 millimeter diameter. Okay. We got a lot of good information here. Startup. Current jump start is 0 0.2 seconds, 9 volt start pulse. Awesome. A lot of good information here. I do like that they are giving me everything that I would have a question about. Double click in standby mode to switch to liner mode and shading mode. Interesting, interesting. I believe the CNC S1 did that. I think it was S1. Lots of good information there. To ensure safe transportation, our batteries will not be fully charged when you get pen. Please use it after charging. Okay. When power is exhausted, charge within one minute. Due to insufficient power, pay power may be screen flicker. Just keep charging over five minutes. Turn it on again, and it will be back to normal. <laughs> we have a little brick. I think I have too many of these. I think I have maybe... Nine or ten just here. Hold on. Could you guess which one is the one that it came with? So when I say I have a lot, this is how many I have at least here. I'm going to push those over this side. And here's the machine itself. As I said, it has an adjustable stroke mechanism. It goes from 4.0 all the way down to 2.6. It is a nice sound. Let's hear the grip click. Very, 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 very loose feeling which honestly some people might like some people might not there's little ridges here to grip when you're tattooing that's nice obviously you'll more than likely have a grip taped so if you don't really like it you probably won't feel it if you wrap it enough let's take the grip off see what it looks like lovely jubbly we're getting there so we'll see what it looks like with the RCA attachment on. It will throw a battery on there. For comparison, I like how these are very nicely threaded. I will say Bronk has machines with very nice threading. I've never heard a squeak or an um, unpleasant sound from any of their machines. It's a pretty good size. I don't think that's really... I wouldn't say this is a small machine or a large machine. It's a pretty good size machine. So let's throw a different battery on it. This is the Ambition Kirk on it. You're saving a little bit of room using the battery it comes with. Turn it on. 4.0 at 8 volts. 8 volts at 2.6. Doesn't have a cartridge in, but it is not very loud as of yet. Let's see if it makes any. Whoa. Let's see if it sounds any different with the battery it comes with. 5.1 volts. Nice clicky sound. Doesn't change much in volume when you adjust stroke. It has a slight hum to it. It's not very loud. I did use this machine already for a little bit, and I did really like it, and I did find that the 
adjustable stroke was pretty consistent with each little notch. I did find that there was a difference in how quickly I was able to pack color or how smooth the lines were with what hand speed and voltage I combined with that. It did feel responsible and I do think this is a nicely made machine. It wasn't much to clean up. It was actually pretty simple. There are little ridges here and little bumps there, but once you actually look at it and you can clean it properly, it's not much of a headache, especially too with being able to take off this battery and really being able to dissect it and take it apart. It is really easy to clean and I did think it was really nice to do gray wash with. Line work was very nice as well. I tested out some cartridge brands, TNT tattoo cartridges. I also used some Cheyenne cartridges and other brands. I'll have a full review on this shortly. I just want to do a first impressions video for this machine because I have been using it and I have been liking it. In regards to wrapping it, this is how I like to wrap it. Slide the machine through the machine bag, put the grip back on, grab some barrier film. It'll be a little bit messy since I like to wrap it with grip tape anyways. Not a whole bunch, but I do like to have just enough to know that I'm not going to Whittle my little fingers down to the bone. Now you can tie this top part off, but I do find that it's a little easier to have some slack when adjusting the stroke. This way you can adjust the stroke without it being contaminated or being all ucky. You can slide up and down like this, adjust the stroke, make everyone in the room uncomfortable, and there you go. Pop a little hole, throw your cartridge in there, and you got it. You can flatten it because you do need to see the battery, but you turn it on. I can see from here that is at 4.0 volts. Yep, and then up, down, and there you go. It looks like a condom that's too big. Uh, not that I would know. Um, but yeah, that's how I wrap it, and that's how you can use it. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. I'm going to save some details for the full review, but this retails for $388 right now, I believe, and I think it's worth it. Stay tuned to find out, I guess. Yeah, that's been the unboxing of the V12 by Bronk.